Hey everyone, it's Dev from GPT Learning Hub, and in this video, I want to talk about one of the main differences between a beginner ML student and a more advanced ML student in terms of what they should focus on and a difference in their mindsets. Let's get into it. ML beginners should focus on from scratch implementations. Understanding how models like linear regression or neural networks really work at the level of matrices will dramatically increase your understanding. At this stage, you shouldn't worry about dependencies like the Transformers library from Hugging Face, which is useful for fine-tuning models and building endpoints. If you're unsure of where to get started, check out my video on how to learn ML in 2024, in which I lay out the step-by-step -step plan I would follow if I had to start over. It's linked in the description, and I can't recommend that video enough. But eventually, there comes a point where implementing models from scratch isn't that useful. Don't get me wrong, from scratch implementations are incredibly interesting, and they're one of my favorite ways to learn, but a mistake I've seen beginners make is thinking that they'll be building models from scratch on the job. Whether you're a data scientist, ML engineer, or even ML researcher, it's unlikely that you'll re-implement existing models. Your mental energy is better spent thinking about how to apply an existing model to your problem, or in the case of ML researchers, how to improve existing models or develop new ones. As you become more advanced, you'll be able to use libraries like PyTorch as well as Transformers to build bigger projects. PyTorch is the number one library for machine learning and I strongly recommend it over TensorFlow. It's especially useful for implementing research papers, which is essential after you've mastered ML fundamentals. If you're unsure of which papers to focus on, check out my video on the top 5 ML papers I recommend. It's also linked in the description. To summarize, beginners should focus on building models from scratch, but should move away from this as they progress. Lastly, this is your reminder to sign up for GPT Insiders before our next edition is released. Over 10,000 students enjoy the daily insights and machine learning resources. GPT Insiders may not always be free, so be sure to sign up at the link in the description as soon as possible. I'll be sharing my thoughts on ML interviews, my step-by-step -step playbook to learn ML, and even my thoughts on the AI bubble. I hope you found this video useful, and I'll see you soon.